Hello, Namaskar. You are watching Good Morning Alan. Here are the top six updates from the world of science and technology for this week. The human body can predict meal times. A team of researchers at the University of Surrey, led by Professor Jonathan Johnston, conducted a pioneering investigation to determine if the human circadian system is capable of anticipating large meals. Circadian rhythms, which refers to physiological changes that occur in 24-hour cycle are typically synchronized with environmental cues like light and darkness encompass a variety of metabolic changes research team ki nayi findings ye suggest karti hain ki blood glucose level ki daily rhythms na keval bhojan ke samay se balki unke portion sizes se bhi prabhavit ho sakti hai nasa is unveiling a supernova remnants hidden secrets with web the explosion of a star is a dramatic event but the remains that the star leaves behind can be even more dramatic a new image from nasa's james webb space telescope provides one stunning example it shows the supernova remnant cassiopeia a created by a stellar explosion 340 years ago from earth's perspective cassiopeia a is the youngest known remnant from an exploding massive star in our galaxy offering astronomers an opportunity to perform stellar forensics to understand the star's depth a nanomaterials based sensor detects flu and covid-19 much more quickly than conventional tests scientists have developed a device using single atom thick nanomaterials capable of simultaneously detecting the presence of viruses causing covid-19 and the flu the device offers much lower detection levels and the faster results compared to conventional tests when both of these viruses are circulating together as they did earlier to ye sensor behad upyogi hoga jo ek sath pata laga sakta hai ki aapko covid hai ya flu researcher dg ekwande presented the findings at the spring meeting of the american chemical society acs 2023 Light pollution might extend mosquitoes biting season. The discovery of a recent study that metropolitan light pollution may disturb the winter dormancy phase of mosquitoes that transmit the West Nile virus could be considered both good news and bad news. The good news is that the disease carrying pests may not survive the winter if their plans to fatten up are foiled. The bad news is that their dormancy period known as diapause may simply be delayed meaning they are biting humans and animals longer into the fall the indian government gave a go ahead to the ligo observatory in maharashtra to study gravitational waves us and india are now actively considering the concept of laser interferometer gravitational wave observatory india or ligo india LIGO is the world's most powerful observatory and a large scale physics experiment carried out to detect gravitational waves. It is a planned gravitational wave observatory that will operate as part of worldwide network to capture and measure gravitational waves coming straight from the space. The observatory will be built in the Hingoli district of Maharashtra. NASA launches high resolution instrument to monitor air quality across US NASA's tropospheric emissions monitoring of pollution tempo instrument has been successfully launched marking a significant step forward in the monitoring of major air pollutants the instrument will provide unprecedented resolution allowing scientists to observe air quality from space with accuracy down to just 4 square miles the tempo mission aims to revolutionize the way air quality is monitored helping to improve life on earth so these were the top updates for this week have a good day